eight years ago um, is what I hoped now would be. I guess when I was that young I thought, you know, the Matildas, I would make the Matildas team, I'd make lots of money and, you know, I'd be, you know, set for life. It's been amazing being part of the Matildas, we've definitely grown over the eight years and in the last two years I think the girls have started to really pave the way for women's football and women's sport and that's really started to change. So I guess eight years down the track we're starting to finally live the football professional life like we would have liked to eight years ago. Oh, I'm jealous man, <laughs> it's going to be so good for those girls. Um, but that's, that's part of why we play, you know, it's not just making it better for ourselves, it's making it better for the future generation and at the moment we're still kind of fighting for that. But in eight years, you know, hopefully Australia will be a football powerhouse for women's football. I think the physio has always said that there was going to be a time in my career where things came to a halt and I wasn't able to just be me and to take care of my body and, you know, I used to skip recovery, skip stretching sessions, all that type of stuff. And, now I guess I've done the injury thing a few too many times so I wish back then that you know I listened to what Beersy and that had to say but being a 15 year old kid I thought I was unstoppable and yeah I guess now um, if I could go back I'd definitely listen. Without any of my teammates I probably wouldn't be in football um, there's been some tough times through football and if you don't have your teammates like I don't know where I'd be. I can't imagine being in an individual sport. Yeah, they're everything to me. They're, you know, when you're feeling down after a game, they're the ones that pick you up. When you've had a, a really good game, they're the ones that keep you level-headed. Sometimes you forget what you're here for. And my advice to the young ones is that this is your job, this is your life. And if you stuff it up once, it might not, you might not get another chance. So, you know, forget about all the likes on Instagram and you know, what people think of you, it's about making the best of your opportunity right now.